Hi everybody, how you doing? Cam here for another tip of the week. So this week's tip of the week is to go through the Master Chef recipes. Basically a top 10 of what I think you can actually achieve early on in the game, mid game and late game, and why I picked them as the top 10, those kind of things. It's gonna be a quick and easy one, but sometimes we just don't bother looking at this kind of food and the kind of things that we can get out of it, you know, the extras and stuff. So hopefully you'll get something out of this. So without further ado, Let's have a look. So the first one on the list, in other words, number 10, is charred meat. So why is charred meat so good at early game? Well, if you come across any meat, in other words, you kill a chicken or you kill a wolf or anything you get, you can actually then cook this on a campfire and it will give you 10 food. It also gives you minus five water, so you'll obviously have to drink some water. It'll give you five health and it'll also give you a max stamina bonus of 10. That's pretty cool. So the next one on the list is bacon and eggs. Now you can find these eggs all around the place in nests. You can buy them as well. And if you want to eat them, then the food will give you five and the health is two. But if you can open up bacon and eggs, either by finding the recipe or putting a skill point into Master Chef one and also getting a cooking pot, you get fabulous food, which gives you 36 food and 18 health. And you get a stamina bonus of 10. That is brilliant. Number eight is boiled food. Now, first one is boiled egg. If you've got water, you've got your cooking pot, and also you've got an egg, you can boil it, and you can get 10 food out of it and five health, and you get a stamina bonus of 10. Also, you can boil meat. Now, this also gives you 10 food, but it gives you 15 health, 10 water. So you get water and food, and also the 10 bonus on your stamina. Nice. Number seven meat stew and now we're coming into the mid game range and you're also going to have to put another level into master chef to get master chef 2 so for meat stew you're also going to have to find some corn animal fat and also some potatoes and then when you cook those up you get a lovely bowl of meat stew that gives you 50 food 25 health 20 water and this time you get 20 towards your maximum stamina bonus brilliant number six Vegetable stew. Now the good thing about vegetable stew is it only takes four ingredients. The bad news is one of those ingredients is mushrooms. And mushrooms is not the easiest thing to find these days. But one place you can find them pretty well in is a cave. So if you find a cave, go and grab the mushrooms. Once cooked, you get 31 food, 15 health, a little bit of water, and also max stamina bonus is 20 again. So well done to everybody who's got this far. We're in the middle of the countdown. So well done you. Yes, it is me under this ghillie suit. I know, I do blend into the wildlife pretty good, but there you go. I'd just like to say to you all, thank you very much for liking all the videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Otherwise you're gonna miss some fabulous videos in the future. And also don't forget to check out all the old ones as well. They're brilliant. I say so, and so does my cat. Number five, hobo stew. Right, we're getting into the late game food now and it's getting more trickier to make these things. So either find the recipe or you're gonna to have to put another point into the Master Chef to get to three short order cook. Make your stew, you've got to add rotten flesh, which is quite easy to find around the place. And this will give you 64 food, 32 health, water 20 and max stamina bonus 30. Number four, sham chowder. Find yourself a lovely tin of sham meat and cook it up to get 53 food, 80 health, max stamina bonus of 30. This one also gives you fortitude. How brilliant is that? Number three, shepherd's pie. Who doesn't love a shepherd's pie? What wonderful thing you can make. Love it in real life, love it in the game. Now you will need to stick another level into Master Chef, so Master Chef level four. For this one, you'll need a tin of lamb rations and also a tin of peas, but you get a massive amount of food, 104, and the health is 52, stamina bonus 40. Who wouldn't love a bit of shepherd's pie? Number two, gumbo stew. This time you've got a large tin of beef instead of lamb. Gives you 112 food, 56 health, 
20 wards and max stamina bonus again of 40. So in the normal world, number one would be a roast beef dinner. I mean, look at that. You've got Yorkshire puddings, you've got roast potatoes, you've got everything. Oh, it looks gorgeous. But not in seven days to die. Number one is... Yeah, that's right, spaghetti. Why spaghetti number one? Well, first off, you've got to get a big tin of beef, a can of pasta, those mushrooms. But what you get at the end of it is something that gives you 122 food, 61 health, and 40 stamina. It's the kind of thing you want to take with you on a tier four or tier five mission, especially the tier five. Well, there you go then, guys. Number one, spaghetti. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been a bit useful to anybody who wanted to know what the game was like. Uh, if you're wondering what Master Chef 5 gives you, it gives you Grandpa's Elixirs. And to be honest with you, you're better off finding them or actually buying them if you want them. Anyway, have a great one and I'll catch you for the next tip of the week. Hopefully next week. Bye bye.